What's up guys, so back in the day keyboards didn't really matter and as long as you had a mechanical keyboard of some sort like being a Cherry MX Red, Cherry MX Blue and there's a bunch of other ones like MX Browns and that kind of thing as long as it was a mechanical keyboard you were completely fine like in CS that's just, that was the base level that was like but all of that kind of changed recently with new technology coming out from from Razer and Boot, where you can basically go on the keyboard and switch the actuation points. So like when the last, I've got a lot of questions in the last few months just about what kind of actuation point you use and like what keyboard should you buy because it actually matters a lot now. If you're using any of the old keyboards, you're definitely at a disadvantage. So we'll hop into the web browser here. So if we have a look here, we, we can see the top five keyboards and just some pro settings. It's a good website you can use if you want to have a look at what all the pros are using at the moment and if you need to buy some new gear now so on the right here you can see some of the logitech keyboards this one's just one of the old kind of ones and it doesn't have the actuation points that you can change but then if we look over here at the razor the routing and then the other routing the smaller one you can have a look at what happened here it all started with snap tap though so like everyone was kind of on the old ones and like not really changing to the the new ones with the actuation points because like what's the point but then they added in snap tap so it was basically like if you hit a and then you hit like you're strafing left and then you strafe right and hit d it would like cancel the a one so you strafe perfectly every time sometimes like your first bullet will miss if you don't strafe perfectly so it basically made it so you could do perfect strafes obviously valve had to get on top of this and ended up banning it so here like about may this is when people started buying 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 and then everyone just kind of kept it now why did they keep it because of the actuation point we realized how like important it is to be able to change your actuation point so i'm going to hop into the software and just show you the optimal actuation point to use now i played around a lot with the actuation point and what's the best one to use and i've looked at like pro settings and kind of what they're using elite and i've kind of found like a middle ground that's like super good and it it's really good for me and it would be super good for you i'm sure what's up guys if you're grinding cs2 and you feel like you're stuck or just not improving the way you want this is for you i put together a full course designed to help you hit 3k elo as you guys know i've spent years competing and coaching players at all levels i've worked one-on-one -on -one with people who are hard stuck and i've helped them break through by focusing on the stuff that actually matters in this course i'll give you the super specific practical advice you need like the optimal sensitivity range a training routine desk height depending on your sensitivity optimal tone of voice so your teammates actually listen to you in your pug and other specific stuff like this. We'll also cover how to set up your game optimally, mechanics, communication, everything you need to learn to be 3k ELO. When I designed this course, I wanted to make it so I could just pretty much speedrun you to 3k ELO as fast as I could. Basically get rid of a bunch of the trial and error that comes with it. It's pretty much everything I wish I knew when I was climbing. So go check it out in the description below because I did put a lot into this. Now I've had like issues with like when I had it on super low, so you can switch it here. I'm just on, I have a routing ADH here, which is like the second most used one. My problem was when I was clicking, you know, my D key, I would like fat finger like my R key and reload. I would like fat finger the, the Q button. So what I did was I basically made all the normal keys just at one millimeter because they're just like the normal keys. I'm not going to hit them. And then I basically honed in on this WASD part and the space bar because I found sometimes I would accidentally when I get like shocked in game like randomly like killed from behind or whatever or like shot in the side like sometimes I like my left hand tenses a little bit and I like tap my space car space bar a bit so imagine like if, if you just touch it it just it can activate to like 0.57 so if you have it set at like 0.3 like I do here it's going to get activated and you're just going to randomly jump because I use spacebar for jump. So if we have a look at some of the keys here, so it's the one, two, three, four, Q, W, R, A, S, D. So I have E selected just the same as all the other ones because I don't want to accidentally, I found E was something that I could accidentally click. Like there was some weird situations where I was like picking up a gun or I was, sorry, I was shooting someone and I killed someone and I'm like strafing to the right and I pick up their gun as I'm trying to like shoot another guy because I'm, I'm trying to hit D, but I've, sorry, I've hit E randomly, which is not great. We can't have that. So I made this just one. So it's like a bit harder to hit. Like I have to press it down enough to actually hit it. And then the specifics here. So we look at R here. I have R at 1.9. So I wanted it a bit higher because sometimes you can like hit D and hit like accidentally hit R similar to E. But I found like E isn't as big as of an issue. So I have that 
kind of a lesser activation point, but R have it way more because you're not gonna like just tap R like slightly and do like little movements left and right like you do in A and D, right? So you're just gonna slam R after reload, right? So I just put that super high. I have W A S C here. Also something to look at is the tachyon mode, which I have on. It increase maximizes maximizes input speed by prioritizing key press response, reduces keyboard brightness and disables RGB effects for optimal performance. Basically just makes it optimal, has the best polling rate activated 8k. I have rapid rapid trigger, all of them on, I have rapid trigger on for WASD and it basically just is when, when you enable it, a key rapidly activates and resets based on your press or release so i just have this at 0.4 no one really fully understands what this is it's something to do with like letting go of it but i found just 0.4 is really good for wasd and then for the rest of the keys i just have it off so wasd i have rapid trigger on wasd i have 0.3 because i want to be able to do little adjustments in game so you can do like little taps like left right tap tap and just be able to do like those kind of little jiggles what i found with these keyboards is you can do these these jiggles super nicely like you can line them perfect like you can go in and out of of like imagine your GT on Inferno, you can just hit it perfectly every time. If I have it at 0 0.3, so have it at 0 0.3 for WASD. I've tried a bunch of them. I've tried one. I've tried two. I've tried like 0 0.5, 0 0.1, 0 0.3 is like the best for me, and it'll probably be the best for you. I'll leave the link in the description, the code for the for this layout. If you have a Wooting, you can just copy the code in and use that. So then we'll have a look at Q. So this is for like quick switching. So I, this is the same as R, right? 1.9 or two is pretty much the same, and it's when you hit Q, it like quick just quick switches and sometimes when you're hitting a or w you can accidentally just like fat finger that so i've had that on a higher number 1.6 for one two three four so i found like sometimes it would be the same i'm hitting w and i'd tap two or i'd hit i'd like tap three here accidentally so having this at 1.6 is really good because it's kind of in the middle where you have to press it pretty far to actually activate it. Like, yeah, you have to press it to like there to activate it. You can't see it, but having this at 1.6 has been super nice for me. So they're all the best keyboard settings and the best keyboards to buy. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments and see you in the next one.